All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game One Live. My name is Typo, and this is Crusader Kings Three Tours and Tournaments Part Sixty Five. Thank you so much to Ramon, Loremaster, and Mauricio Cadillo for your comments. Um, I do have to <laughs> change our court jester. I guess, you know, fine. Prince Ramses, he was decent at it, but okay. A resentful paragon. He's very honorable. Sure. There you go, big man. We'll make fun of how big you... Oh my god, he's massive! It's like Hagrid. Jesus. Uh, and... Lore. So you said you had wanted to maybe rule Jerusalem? Is that more important to you, or being a... Or... Would you rather be in the running for husband to the future pharaoh? Now, there's a chance that you might be the future pharaoh. If you end up being, you know... If Lore ends up being the greatest of the children, then obviously I'll put him forward. Or if it's like a tie, I'll put... I'll have Lore win the tiebreaker. But if he doesn't, he could still be the husband to the future pharaoh, possibly. But if I gave him Jerusalem then he wouldn't be able to support his spouse, because if they're, if they're landed, then their spouses don't actually help their spouses out in the council. Which is why Arma doesn't have any land. So, let me know what your thoughts are on that. I could hand over Jerusalem, especially since the Dome of the Rock doesn't work because we're not Christian, which sucks. Because look at those bonuses, that's crazy. Um, but it would still be an amazing city, it just wouldn't have the Dome of the Rock bonuses. Let me know. Uh, whether you would rule, rather rule Jerusalem or be in the running for Pharaoh or Pharaoh's husband. And then I'll do whichever one you prefer. Um, okay. We have a lot of wars to, wars to wage today. And it's time we start, you know, executing people that we capture in battle again. Lore made a good point. We are by the sword. Um, maybe we might still recruit someone to our faith if they are exceptional and think they could help move our faith forward, but if it's just someone we captured in battle, then they get executed easy. Alright. Wow, he has Organizer? Lucky. <clears throat> we have so many wars to wage right here. Are we ready? I mean, we are. Let me make sure there's, um... We could do another pilgrimage. We are a religious icon already, so I think we could spread these out for when we have more mo We don't have the money for anything right now, actually. We're poor, poor. We're broke, broke. <clears throat> Alright, let's declare some wars, shall we? Holy War for County. Their allies also pretty useless. We have a lot of piety to be able to declare these wars with. Holy War for County. Yeah, get ready for the whole list, because it's going to be a lot. Juwar. Wait, what? We don't have Cast a Spell on him because we don't border him? That's crazy. That's kind of absurd, but okay. Now, we need to do a Holy War for Kingdom on him. For the Kingdom of Syria, declare war. That's a pretty decent dude, too. Look at that. Oh, with his allies, he's up to 7,000. He had 7,000 earlier, but no, never mind. I guess not. There are capitals over here that makes this easier to capture. Holy War for Duchy there. And then... Dalmyra? Palmyra? Don't have Cast a Spell Eye, that's right. Or there, probably. We do! The thing is that this is going to be a really awkward one to take, so let's hold off on that. I think four wars is enough. I have bit off more than I could chew in the past. So let's go with four wars to start. Look how good Meritides is compared to our other options. Now, when we had the Lion himself, he had like 50 Marshall. He would have still been the best. But with our current members of our empire, Meritides is by far and away the best commander. And she's got the 62 prowess, so it's not like anyone's going to stop her anytime soon. I do want to do this grand tournament in 17 months, but I think we're good until then to just not do any traveling for the meantime. <clears throat> okay, we got people joining in the wars, that's fine. Let them try. Let them try. Let them, let them try. Jesus Christ, they're everywhere. 500 defenders. 500 defenders. 8,800 defenders and 7,280 defenders. Ooh, we got two easy ones and two actual contests. Look at that. Not that they'll be able to stop Meritides and her exceptional professional army. Secret exposed. My friend Najib has been brought forward undeniable that Stefano was fathered by none other than him. Undeniable evidence that Stefano was... Okay. None of you are Terramans, so I'm going to let that slide for now. But I might have to imprison people down the road. We'll see. 
We can't imprison Sheep that 64%. That's not happening. I can't. I don't have enough gold. We still have another child that we need to send to. We still have Meritini's, Princess Meritini's to send to college, but, like, we don't have the money. We just sent a Menotep, didn't we? No. Yes, we did. Okay, yeah. We just sent a Menotep to, to college. Now we need to get money again to be able to send Meritini's to college. <clears throat> Alright, these were all captured in battle. Just like we're gonna go Menkari style. If they can't ransom themselves, then they're dead. They're dead. Zahir. Mm, Should have died in battle. That's tough. Oh man, but I can lose stress by killing these people. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe I hold on to them and just <laughs> indirectly torture them by just keeping them here. Let me gain 10. Gain 10 dread for killing him. Why? Interesting. Why do I get 10 dread for him? Sure. Execute. Done. Amazing. And then these two will be stress relief for the future. Love it. See? Oh, here we go. Because she doesn't want to be impatient. She just is. So if we build up impatient stress, we can just execute some people. And that'll make her feel better. Oh, no. 7 to 352. That's crazy. But it might be it might be what we do. It might be what we do. Uh, we're still paused. I'm an idiot. Yep, true. I don't know why I thought we weren't. Siege expert. Ankmakis Terraman. Take over for a little bit. Go ahead. Let me um what's the garrison here? Four hundred. Let me split off everybody except for this. This will be led by us, and this will be led by Ankmakis. This is the siege team, and this is the battle team. Go. <clears throat> It'll be beautiful. Degraded artifact and offer. <gasps> we let that degrade all the way? No, it still has 21 years on. I was about to say. What? No, no, no. <laughs> low county control in Jerusalem? I believe that. Um, it's just this that has low durability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And it still has some years on it. Yeah. I was about to say. Absolute shame that such precious treasures as your flexible scale armor lie forgotten and abandoned to the dust. Please allow me to pay for its restoration in exchange for a small favor. No. No. Absolutely not. We're not giving weak... We don't give weak hooks. Alright? That's how problems happen. Low Nile Flood's kind of a bummer. We got mangonels! Hey, after these wars, we need to get some better siege weapons. Hell yeah! That's awesome! Manganels are like twice as good as Onagers. Alright, Burrs is next. We can build our duchy buildings. And then we can do battlements, manorialism, all that good stuff. But we need Burrs before we can do anything else. 11 years on that. Ooh, 11 years on both of these? We're kind of cooking a little bit. We don't have Indian levels of innovation, but you know. Yeah, they have 5 in the early medieval. Um, Yeah, it looks like 5 out of 24 is where the really advanced... Indian innovations are right now, like Punjabi and Kanauji. But we're only two behind. That's not bad at all. We are pretty advanced, all things considered. Alright, Meritides, go get them. They have nowhere to run. That's their capital. 24 on the attack. Oh, no. Goodbye. We captured Salahadin, the spy master. Should have died in battle. And Os Oshraf, who definitely should have died in battle by a lot. Damn. Wonder why that other guy gave Dread. That was great. 5 to 591. Ramon picked up another kill. I'm assuming Ramon picked up one kill in the last one, too, because these are like non battles. So I would say one kill for Ramon in both of those. Sorry, I forgot to check that other one. Um, this isn't great, but, you know, it is what it is. What are they doing? What are y'all doing? 23 days, 20 days? Oh yeah, go get them. Go get them, there's no escape. It takes a while to disembark, to embark, doesn't it? Oh no, you've done messed up now. Oh, there's no escape. Yeah, you guys are doomed. Another enemy ally joins. Factions disbanding. This one actually has some backing on it, but not too bad. Alright. I took my foe prisoner, wow. 
We can ransom him and then still win the war. Take that 35 gold for free. Thank you very much. And then two others we might be able to execute too for stress down the road. If they don't give dread, I think I might start holding on to them to do it later. You know what I mean? Okay, light. Oh my god, look at the martial advantage! No way! Dude, that's crazy. They're over 10 years in debt. And we have that huge martial advantage. Meritides and crew are about to wipe them out. Ramon wounded Sheik Yusuf. Get him, Ramon. Arma maimed Masud Mwayadid. Get him, Arma. And we captured their leader. That war is done. Oh, never mind. Just kidding. So be it. Ransom accepted for 37 gold. I captured more people. 20 to 2448. The slaughter at tier. Where Ramon picked up nine more kills. Racking them up. Racking them up. I mean, he doesn't need the help. They have that. It's 51 dudes. And 36 of them are levies. Indulgences. We love that. Michael Kuda. Thank you. Your neighbor. Who? Riga lost against... Malila? Of Maghreb. Oh, Maghreb took part of Riga away. Ma Look at Maghreb spread a little bit. Okay, I see you. I see you. Eastern Roman Empire is now ruled by the Marapas family. And they're again gonna have to deal with shit, dude. The Eastern Roman Empire is constantly in turmoil. They can't grow right now because they're constantly having to hold themselves together. Lotharingia, by the way, is everywhere. This is the border gore nation on our worlds. Look at that. They're up here in Ireland. Or, sorry. They're up here in Scotland. They're over here in Spain. <laughs> they're everywhere, dude. Lotharingia. 57 counties and it is spread out. Most other nations are pretty... Are avoiding the border gore pretty well, to be honest. I'm pretty happy with it across the map. How little border gore there is. But Lotharingia is the exception. They are... Uh, they are everywhere. Anyway, moving on. That's a free win. 1 to 46. Slaughter at Damascus. Eudokia, you needed that. I'm glad you paid for that. Okay, what duchy is that? That is part of Damascus duchy. So whoever I give this is going to be getting the rest of the duchy. It's not going to be Arma because then he can't help us. Manetho, are you ever going to get anything? Hmm... He's scaly. I'm not trying to really hand that down, but if it happens, it happens, I guess. Pi, my cousin, is unlanded. He's the second youngest in this family. Arabia? And she's gonna give it to me, not the other, not the other way around. Okay. Huh. Is this being done by vote? How is that being decided? I don't think... I don't think Pi is ever going to get any land, the way things are looking. They need some land. Maybe we can give him the kingdom of Syria. That could be good. Let's give him this on the way to getting started. All rivals of Pi get ten, negative 10 opinion of us. Which is Amsha, that's fine. There you go, Pi. A lot of alliances we could have, but no thanks. Uh, Akan now speaks Egyptian. We are really spreading across this African region. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Egyptian is spreading into India a bit, a little bit over here, but mostly it is just completely sweeping across Africa. They love it. And we love that they love it. <clears throat> Ladon Digital's lover to secret, really. 80%, 60%. Hmm. If I ever desperately need money, those are options. <clears throat> Weave inspiration, nearly decent. We're gonna have to pass. I also want to do the exoticized Grand Hall. So we can change what it looks like. Patronize the. Whoa, 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 wh
You will provide the Neoplatonic Academy and Haran with much needed funding. Patron of the Neoplatonic Academy. Piety, prestige, and learning. This character has generously donated some of their assets to the Neoplatonic Academy in Haran, thus ensuring that its esteemed lineage of pagan thinkers and scholars will continue to grow and thrive. Increase the chance that Haranian characters will spawn. They follow the Haranian pagan religion, an ancient syncretic faith combining Mesopotamian and Hellenic elements that has survived for centuries in the city of Haran, which is in northern Mesopotamia. Cool, but no. We don't believe in, the, in those other faiths. The merchant settlers, which would be good, of course. Development, growth, and holding taxes in Alexandria alone. Oh, God, 150 gold. For 10 years, though? That's really good. Alright. Trade and commerce will flourish. No matter their ethnic or religious origin, merchants from the Middle East can be found throughout much of the Silk Road, ranging from Arabs to Iranians and Jews and more. They have been especially prolific in establishing colonies and major trade centers at crossroads in order to broaden their business networks. I've managed to convince some members of the local Middle Eastern community to assist me in recruiting people from their homelands or from elsewhere along their Silk Road networks to come and settle in my lands. They get to expand their networks while also helping me bring even more prosperity to my lands. I eagerly welcome the colonists. It's a win-win. There you go. <clears throat> Could borrow gold from a horse. Oh. That's cool that we can have 750 gold temporarily. I'm in need of money. Who better to ask for help than the servants of Amun Ra? I can send out letters to hope that I get a response. That's kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. Oh, yeah. We're going to be able to train for a tournament real soon. Okay. Seljuk wins another war. And now it's up to 36 counties. This thing is all over the place, by the way. That place is a mess, because Seljuk's all the way over here. Oh, no, it's right here. Oh, my God, dude. That is going to split so many ways. That's going to be a huge mess on Inheritance. But until Inheritance happens, I guess they're fine. There we go. We got the Sheik, even. We did not need the Sheik for that. But we can Ransom the Sheik for 50 gold. Score. And 28 just for taking Damascus as is. Let's go hit their capital, see if that ends the war itself. And if not, then, you know, we can just change things as we need to. <clears throat> to the squeamish, Usar Macho Setapenra Meritides, damn your seventh grandfather. Squeamish. Says who? When? What are you talking about? I don't see that. I don't see that. <clears throat> Aspasia and Tetasheri are both like more likely to receive good educations due to Arma's tutelage. Let's go. Yasar, 10 gold. And like I said, if we ever get stressed, we have people we can execute. <laughs> That's funny. Pi, I have more land for you. There you go. You're welcome. Now you're gonna love these wars, Pi, because this kingdom is basically all you. How are we not a legendary figure yet? Oh, there it is! Aladdin died under mysterious circumstances. Did he get murdered? I'm shocked that this stayed in one piece. I am absolutely shocked that this stayed in one piece. But okay, that's quite a mess that he left his family with. Honestly, his kid is pretty good. Yeah, his kid is pretty good. Good for you. <clears throat> it won't be the same anymore, obviously, but it's not bad. Oh, I was going to wait for offensive penalty to go... Offensive war penalty to go away, wasn't I? Ooh, it's at negative nine. We're going to have to take a break after this. Invited to join a hunt. Have to leave within three months. <clears throat> hmm... And six months. No, Grand Tournament's going to be ready by then. I would have thought about it, though. I have arrived in Alexandria to pay homage to you, glorious pharaoh, as a show of my loyalty. Show it Nesset and Armor in at once. Serve me well, Nesset and Armor. It's admirable that they go to make those things happen. Gosh, she's pale. It's admirable that they make those things happen. Yeah, let's end the capital isolation. There's no more plague, right? Wait, there's still a plague. Why are you asking me that? No, I don't want to end it yet. Soon, maybe, but not yet. Oh, 
Oh, we got the capital and the war is still not over. All right. I mean, I guess we can hold down the fort right here. Literally hold down the fort. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. No ransom for you. And I already have enough in the prison, in, enough in the cells. You're dead. Oh, you were captured. You didn't even fight back. Sorry about that, brah. That's tough. A ransom and that's still nothing? Really? Does it, oh, that's right. He's 10 years in debt. How do you go negative 938 gold and negative 1,000 prestige? Bro, what did you do? Oh, this is the Abbasid family. Oh, no. What did you do? Is something... It Was it something you did that split the country apart? That's the only thing I can think of that would make any sense there. That's crazy. Alright, let's go back to them right here. Maritini's lead the way. Uh-oh. I think they caught us. They did not. Wow. That was close. Alright. Come get us if you think you can. Let me, let me go Siege Expert right now. Ooh, someone else is trying to capture that. Interesting. Oh, they're trying to take it back. Never mind. Repentance Ceremony, I could do that. Uh, chance of getting this? Uh, I don't know. We need money for... Sorry. There's a lot we can't do right now because of money. Lore is more likely to receive a good education due to Arma's tutelage. Let's go. What is going on here? It's very interesting. 20 days. Oh my god. Yeah, they're going to be done with theirs soon, too. Hatia Magdala. Didn't really need it, but I appreciate the indulgence. Dude, they are cruising. War over. We don't even need to battle them. Narmer of Crete now speaks Greek? That's a mistake, I'd say, but you know, you do you. May their decision prove folly, yeah. Beiru! Nice. Captured Sheik Tafit of Beiru. Ransom for 50, nice. Anybody else I can ransom? No, it looks like that was it. Well, alright then. Let's enforce demand so that, that other siege doesn't even need to happen. To the abhorrent Pharaoh Meritides, may your humors rot in your living body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't you worry about a thing. Go get him, Meritides. Yeah! He paid a hundred, actually. Nice! That was a good ransom. Salma Ali, good. Oh, and this really helped out right here, I'd say. Plus 27 advantage, and this is against their leader. This could end the war right here if we capture him. Ah, we got Ismail. Who should have died in battle? 16 to 2634, the slaughter at Baalbek, giving Ramon 11 more kills. And his prowess is now 39. Ramon keeps climbing. Oh, he's an aspiring blade master now. Yo, that's sick. That makes him eligible for a title. Which one was it? Servant of the Sun? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Prowess is eight or above. Aspiring Blade Master. I don't think... Actually, I don't think you can make an accolade for you. Yeah, you're not allowed to get an accolade, Ramon, because you're a king. You can't have both. You're either a king or you're a, you're an accoladed champion. You can't, can't be both of them. Sorry. <laughs> but 11 more kills. Put a notch him on the board there. All right, we have two more land there. Again, I'm, I'm giving all this to Pi. Because he's going to be the guy who rules Arabia, I'm pretty sure. Tripoli and Beirut. There you go. That siege will be over in a second. Adrianos, the shrewd of Cyprus. Yeah, go ahead. Now go hit the capital and that should be a wrap. We only have 30% for Battle 1. Interesting. Oh, there's a major plague called Wetlands Fever in Chernobyl. It's killed 136 so far. 
and it's been less than a year. It's about to be a year. It's been almost exactly a year and 136 fatalities already from the wetlands fever. Whew. That plague is cooking some people for sure. That's tough. To the noble Pharaoh Meritides, your luscious lips are better than a ham in winter. I really want to smooch you. That I may... What? That I may know if your prowess carries off the battlefield, you and I together is what makes the sun move in the sky. These lines are but a bleak reflection of my feelings for you. I will do anything to prove my loyal affections. <laughs> Banner this foolish endeavor immediately. There's absolutely no way. No way whatsoever. Sorry, not sorry. Tedasheri looking pretty good. And that's before she gets her education, too. Mm. Aspasia! Oh, yeah, I need to um, ask you to take your bows. A hundred percent! There we go, because she's zealous now! Lazy, contented, zealous! Lazy, not really, but that doesn't make a terrible monk, to be honest. Gains a level of devotion, of course, that makes sense. Lose a hundred legitimacy is kind of crazy, but... Aspasia, take the vows. And then that'll give us three, three daughters and three sons that we can marry between them. They all have pure-blooded other than her, right? Pure-blooded, 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 pure-blooded. Nice. Everyone except for Aspasia got pure blood, so she's going to be the only one taking the vows. It kind of sucks that that's the way it's got to be, but that is the way it's got to be. My dear mother, I, I will answer the call to serve a higher power, and I thank you for setting me on this path of righteousness. I'm sure you'll serve Abin Ra well. All right, Princess Aspasia, you are a monk now. Good for you. Make us proud. Another low flood. Ugh. Whoa. <clears throat> Whispers of a ghost of Alexandria have reached my court. Many sightings have been reported along the cliffs by several coastal villages, and the stories were mostly consistent with each other. Every evening, the faint trace of the ghost appears and stands looking at the sea, gazing into the waters for a few hours before disappearing. The ghost is not malevolent at all, and when approached, merely points in an almost dreamlike manner towards something which no one can see nor understand before disappearing. Furthermore, a few villagers even claim that the ghost has silently guided wayward travelers to safety. Anyways, the ghost has been nicknamed the Forlorn Watchman by locals. Some question his existence, but who am I to say if such sightings are genuine or not? What a ghost story. Intrigue and monthly lifestyle experience for a year? Let's go! 5%'s not a lot, but it's something. And we get the Forlorn Watchman for 9 years giving us control and development growth? That's really cool. What a that's really cool. What a ghost story. Sure, why not? That was pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Zakaria's coughs. I don't recognize that one. That's new. <sighs> Over here in Sasari. It's a minor one at least, but damn it. 137. I wanna I wanna know what the most deadly plague is of our playthrough is so far. Yo, it's going to be a new millennia during Meritini's rule. That's kind of crazy. There we go. Another war done. All right. His guest. Okay. Enforce demands. And that's all our wars for now. To the abhorrent Pharaoh Meritini's, may Allah destroy your house. He won't since Allah's not real, idiot. Obviously, I'm being in character here. I'm not trying to insult anyone who actually believes in, in all that. I realized how that could have been construed as soon as it came out of my mouth. Playing as Meritides. It's not real, idiot. Ransom. Ten gold. We'll take it. Caliph Mukhtar, the generous. Really? I'm defending against him? He really thought to keep going for this. Okay, let's go cook him then. I was about to be done with wars. At least the offensive war penalty will stop going up. Negative 12. Ooh, that's probably going to take a couple years to go away, to be honest. Good thing we're about to have a grand tournament to keep us busy. In three months. We can hold court. Nice. Let's do that right now. Wait, do we have Antioch? We might. That's actually a really good spot to have. Alright, let's hold court. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought her, her hair had gotten that white. It's her veil. That's right. Whew. Here the petitioner's out. Gesture for the person line to approach. 
Over the last few days, I've heard tell of a mighty hero of the peasantry who has won the hearts and minds of the common people through incredible deeds and matchless bravery. Holy shit! Dionysia is not messing around. What a perfect knight personality, too. Brave, arrogant, and honest. That's a knight through and through. Desert warrior, logistician, strong. And she's 23! Oh my god! She's built like a house, which makes sense. This hero who goes by the name Dionysia has been defending the small folk from the Punyabi raiders and has now traveled the way to Alexandria to seek an audience with me. There's no doubt that Dionysia is a great hero, however my quarter adamant that I do not elevate a commoner beyond their station. Nonsense. If they're this talented, it's time to make a station for them. 300 gold. What the f Hmm. Should be honored as the hero you are. Gains the nickname the Fearless. You're an impertinent peasant, nothing more. It's gotta take 300 gold to recruit her is crazy. I'll never have money for as long as I live. <laughs> you grant Dionysia a county currently held by Nesset Ramon of Delhi. Angering Nesset Ramon, but solidifying Dionysia's loyalty is a vassal. I can't just give you one of Ramon's... Okay, fine. Ah, oh, I should be rewarded with a place in my household. We can't just not recruit her, that'd be crazy. Loyal servant, damn straight. A peasant steps forward carrying a petition. My liege, I come to you as a representative of the Syriacs from the Temple of Anjar. The peasant briefly pauses his rehearsed speech. Our plea to see an important monument of our culture restored was ignored by the Hatia. He's actively hindering us from rebuilding. My liege, allow me to explain. <laughs> He's really panicked about this. Uh, this monument begs a mockery of our culture. It depicts Sunborn as monsters. Surely you can see why I would oppose the restoration of such a hateful monument. Yeah, of course. Not if it paints the Sunborn as monsters. Sorry, guys. Formal approval. You lose 300 gold again. Ha! <laughs> Wasn't gonna happen anyway. Alright, and then my vassal Hatia Amas Amasus approaches the throne with a middle-aged man in tow. My pharaoh and... Oh, wow, he used both at the same time, okay. My pharaoh and Usur Matrasetapenra, he spouts. My acquaintance, Cleomene Setnid, seeks the honor of serving in your retinue of champions. Give him the opportunity to prove his quality. The man knows his way around an axe and will not let you down when it counts. I think he will. 25 marshal is actually pretty good, but we have plenty of good marshal. And 12 prowess ain't gonna cut it. Oh, yeah, send him to the order, true! Very well, he may attend me, Cleomenes. I have found my bodyguard. The graveyards are full of middling swordsmen. Grand Mist He is middling, though. I mean, he's considered average prowess, yeah. Grandmistress Viviana always needs men. You gain 100 piety. Amasus loses 5 because he's disappointed. But Cleomenes is happy. He's pleased with it. Yeah, Grandmistress Viviana always needs men. Send him to the Holy Order. There you go, Cleomenes. You're a mighty knight. You're an order member. That's going to give him 4 prowess. Whoa, I didn't realize it did that. My business here is done. Yeah, that gave him a nice little boost, huh? Really? Or <laughs> okay. Order members cannot marry and cannot inherit titles, but they do get one marshal and four prowess. That's not bad. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Alright. Yeah, so offensive war is at twelve, so we need to relax for a bit. We do have a grand wed we have a grand tournament. Five, in three months anyway. Antioch, that's a really good city, right? Like a high quality one? Uh, maybe, maybe. I mean, look at the development on it, though. That's not messing, that part's not messing around. We need to hold this place down. Let's go get him. Meritidi's showing the way. Wow. Wait, Ramon is now our second highest marshal, too. Ramon, dude. You are popping off right now. It must be because he's crushing through the lifestyle traits. Chivalry focus, yeah. Damn. Yeah, he's making his way down to gallant. He's trying to be gallant. Ramon, dude. <laughs> 36 Marshall now. That's not kit that's not messing around. If you weren't busy doing your own thing, apparently, which is. Oh, you're an ally. You know, you're gonna lose that war, Ramon. 
Uh, your ally is going to lose that war. You're not pulling that one. You're not losing the war, but your ally is going to lose that war. Meritides, you got this. Go get them. No, they don't get to escape. They get to die at our sword. Because that's what we do to our enemies. Plus 49, because this man decided to lead his own men with 8 martial advantage. Okay. You messed up. Badly. No mark EB killed Baron Feudal Muslim Male Iranian Group Rutha. Pharaoh Arma wounded Yakub Abd al Qais. Okay. Neset Therapon wounded w Wanzanak. That's a lot of champions doing a lot of damage. And we captured him. Forces took Caliph Mukhtar's uncle Sheikh Bashar. Okay. How does that not end the war? Okay, sure. That's a Sheikh right there, though. We're 42 gold to me. Mm, we'll hold on to him for now. And Abdullah. Who should have died in battle. 31 to 48, 46. The slaughter at Antiochia. Ramon with 18 more kills. There you go, Ramon. Now your kill count's starting to climb today. <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Who is attacking us? Where are they from? All the way over there? Golly. That's kind of a far way to have to run to go force the end of this war. It's going to take three months just to get there. But we have to enforce demands. They're only going to give us 54 gold, but like... We need to ruin them for them deciding to follow up on this. I can't just let it slide. I gotta do it. I can't make the kingdom yet, can I? Ooh. Ooh, I could if I had the money. Oh, man. I could already make that kingdom. Crazy. Bum, 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 bum. Let me double check that one. Let me double check this one. Antioch, don't have any special available buildings for this slot. There probably is a special bu building available there for people that have the right faith. But it's not working for us. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, we'll hand it over, fine. Fair enough, I suppose. Bro, you need to make yourself a duke ASAP. But you don't have the gold for it. Well, I can't make you a duke either. Oh, we have this title. Oh, we can't usurp it. Damn. Alright, I'll hold on to some land for you, man. Because I know I'm, I'm really putting you over the limit here. He has domain limit plus three as a count. Sunborn gives him plus one, so that gives him four. As a count, he has two, so that's six. And he already has domain over eight counties. So I've already put him two over the limit. I need to, I need to relax on giving him stuff for the moment. I've already gone a little too far. Whoa, there's plague in this area. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Turn around. Oh my god, we're about to walk right into it. Get, uh, 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 who's the most expendable? Uh, I got, uh, uh Miratios. Oh no. Everybody out. Oh my god, my champions are about to run into that. I'm so stupid. Everybody out. Run. Get out of there. Oh my god, someone's gonna catch the flu. Someone's gonna catch a plague off of that. The romantic plague? Consumption? One of the lesser plagues, but still. That would be that would be really bad if I let a champion get something right there. My domain, fearful troops, detailed ledgers. Professional workforce, centralization would be really good. Uh yeah, I think I'm ready to go towards centralization now. I think I'm almost done with stewardship, to be honest. I don't need to stay here any longer. No. I mean, once I get centralization, I won't need to stay here any longer. Let me get one more stewardship perk for centralization, and then I'll stop. And I'll go on to Marshall, probably, until we're ready to do more learning perks. Sounds good to me. <laughs> get out. That was not a good... That was not good that the plague just spread to us like that. That was not good. That was not good. That was not good. Why won't they just surrender? Is 
Is this an enemy? It's an enemy army. Oh, damn. Go ahead and gather up so we can beat you up. My president Adil died in my... My president Adil died in my dungeons. Oh, that's fine. I still have plenty that I can execute down the road. I'll take that 44 now. Oh, man. We have so many executions for the future. We love to see it. Got our money, man. A Trans-Saharan Arab merchant. For centuries, merchants have crisscrossed the Sahara Desert along the Trans-Saharan and Retorian routes that connect the Mediterranean and the Sahel to exchange trade goods ranging with... Oh, we've read this before. Yeah, yeah. Um... She's offered to network me with other Arab merchant communities to promote the growth of trade in my realm. Would you like to join my court, Parween? No. A good deal is a pleasure working with you, Parween. 10% monthly income for 10 years for 300 gold. We can't not do that. We're about to go in debt for this. You can't not do that. That is so good. 10% income? For 10 years? Oh, god dang it. Oh, we're in debt. That's tough. That's real tough. Why did they summon 9 people? What? Disband. It'll take up to 8 months to return home. Here. One of the... One of the okay, actually, you know what? Yeah. That'll be plenty. Grab this, disband it. Help our income out. There we go. That's better. Grand Tournament 11 days! Okay, they won their Northman War. The Marapas family actually held on. Look at that. Good for you. Dude, Northmen can be dangerous. They usually come with like 7,500 men. Not the greatest men, but st st still 7,500 men. Dude, we are not going to be able to send Maritides to college. She's already three? She's pensive. Uh, we don't have a stewardship anymore now that we made a Spacia monk, I'm pretty sure. We don't. Make her a steward. Damn it! I can't send her to university! It's gonna take too much money we don't have! I'm sorry, Maritides. I'm sorry! Ramses, teach her well. Teach her well. I don't have the money to give her anything better. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We just couldn't afford to send Maritides to, call, to college. It was too much. Losing people in our dungeons, for sure. <laughs> Bankrupt? My treasury is empty. My larder barren. Even the rats have been sold to pay for my expenses. Yet I'm still unable to pay all the debts I owe. That's awesome. How can I possibly get out of this situation? Scrutinize the ledgers for anything that can help. Ooh. I find several overlooked debts I can call in for three or gold. I do not find anything that's of assistance. I will owe Norak Siaka a favor if he helps me out. Confiscate religious property to raise funds. We would never do that. I'll tighten my belt and save what I can. Scrutinize the ledgers for anything that can help. We won't gain any stress because we're about to get 300 gold because Meritides is that is that woman. She's about to take off right here at 300 gold. Bang. I find several overlooked debts I can call in. Boom. Very nice. Whoo. That was well done, actually. He's not making any money, is he? No. All right, fine. He had been at 515 for a while. God, I am so sore. I started working out over the summer, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> so sore. Marinus won against King Zakaria in the Italian de jure war in the county of Mantua. Are they allowed to do that? Can they declare war? <laughs> yeah, I bet there is a tyranny war against him. He declared war on the Pope. What? Yeah, the Pope didn't grow in size. Dude, who's challenging the Pope to a fight? Also, Pope Marinus the Old is great. It's not uncommon for the people to greet Pope Marinus with astonishment that he's still alive. Yeah, okay, sure. Like, 67 is that old. We've seen so much older. Woo! Court Shaman Shirpoos is 96! Check this man out! He's infirm and melancholic, but he's hanging in there. He's stubborn, at least. True. Um, if he makes it to, you know, as old as Menkare, which he won't, I'd be pretty impressed, not gonna lie. Lissandra learned the non-believer secrets. How could you not believe? How 
a Sandra Cannon. Oh, wait, didn't I have a, uh, a... Okay, wait. Sorry, uh... There's someone I was supposed to convert to our faith. One of our courtiers. Um... Non-believer? Oh, maybe it was her. Demand conversion. Um... Lore Master, you told me somebody needed to be converted. Uh... Ch -ch -ch -ch. Yeah, how did I not remember that the Servant of the Sun was Sans Snow? I really liked Sans Snow. I don't know why I couldn't remember that was what that was called. And Lord Master wanted me to change Palestine to Peliset. True, true. Uh, Palestine, Palestine, Palestine. Here we go. I mean, I don't own it yet, so I can't change the name yet. But once we actually own it, sure, sure, sure. Um. Okay. Who, who was it? I swear to God. I I don't... I can't find it right now, but there was someone I was supposed to convert. Maybe it was her, and we just found it, so that was that worked out, if so. The Age of Knowing. Tedesheri's 15 and deserves to know his power. Made a friend with Tedesheri. Wow, okay. Friends with your daughter is pretty fun. It's pretty wholesome. I like that a lot. Pedagogy. Tedesheri got an extra marshal. Nice. Dude, for someone who's not marshal focused at all... Tedesheri really killed the martial roles, huh? And am zealous, ambitious, gregarious. I'm telling you, she's setting herself up. Lackluster administration? What? I mean, that doesn't really affect us that much, but... We're not in debt anymore, so calm down. Yeah, she's she's doing a really good job. She's doing a really good job. It's not nearly good enough to actually win any votes, of course, because Therapon is just... Just absolutely crushing the votes right now. Hey, someone else is actually voting for Tedesheri. Nesset Philotheos, thank you for your wisdom. <laughs> She's in third. And Philotheos is probably... Yeah, Philotheos rooting for her there. And then it's just us and the Ajaran vote, but okay. Hey, at least we've got our first person rooting for Tedesheri right now. Let's go. Uh, Athenais is content, diligent, and chaste. Interesting. That could work for a diplomat. That could work for a diplomat. It's a little interesting. I can work with that. Seti is diligent so far. Let's go! We love diligent. Diligent is so good. Laura got content, which definitely helps with his learning skill for sure. Hmm. Amenotep. Doesn't have one yet, of course. Okay, so Laura has content. Uh Seti has diligent. Athenais has contingent and chase. Okay. Seti should be getting his second trait very soon, actually. I might just stay here. And wait to see what Seti gets, because it should be happening any second. Seti's also doing very well. Damn, Seti! Two to nine. Yep. No kills for anybody. Man, this war sucks, I'll tell you that. Alright, grand tournament time. I'm in an army. Oh, haha. <laughs> JK, JK. Grand tournament time. It is time for sure to host one of these things. I love them. Let me train first for the tournament. Because we need to get that strong trait. 41% chance we get strong. Come on, Maritides. Training is impressive. Ah, didn't get strong. We're going to have to try again next time. Wait, we don't have money for a tournament. Oh no! Oh no! We don't have the money! Oh man! What's going on with this? It's doing the thing again where it's inaccurate with how ap with our aptitude and things. Very strange. I don't like when it does that stuff. I guess we're gonna have to delay the grand tournament just out of money concerns. God, we gotta get our money together. Grand right. Another grand tournament someone else paid for. Ah, we're not gonna make it. It's 11 months travel. I definitely would have showed up to that. Plan a grand right. Grand rights are too good not to have. They give us a free perk every time we do one. You guys are idiots. Why would you do that? Yulia! Thank you for your indulgence. Seljuk won, won their defensive war. Yep, burnt down tower. 
Um, Athenaeus is likely to get more likely to get a good education. Yeah, Arma's killing the education help. A most curious discovery recently came to my attention from Alexandria. Scouts serving in the local garrison while on a routine patrol got lost in their wanderings, discovered a burnt down tower in the wilderness. There was little indication of when it was built and when it was last inhabited, but the basic structure is relatively intact. The only thing of note in that spot were two trees by the tower and a small rotting wooden chest with nothing inside. In the report I received, the local guard captain suggested we could renovate the tower to turn it into a watch post to assist with maintaining control over the region. Splendid idea, reusing an existing tower is smart. No, we don't care about any of those things. I don't think it sounds like we need a watch post there. No. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm gonna have to pass. This war is taking way too long. The Terran Dynasty is known far and wide. Hey, we just hit famous! Nice! The Carlings are fabled, dude. Wow, we're not even... We're like two away from where the Carlings are. They're crazy. But hey, we have a famous dynasty. Quite satisfied. My son, Seti, has been asking me for a pet rabbit for a long time, and I told him I would get one for him in three months if he displayed more focus in his studies. He responded that he was fine with the current dedication to his studies. Reward or no reward? No, we might need to do more than content with him. Fickle would be good for his intrigue focus. True. Would not help his diplomacy, but... Trusting would be terrible for his intrigue focus. And content would also be bad for his intrigue focus. So the only really one we can give him is fickle. Diligent but fickle. What a combination. His character changes their mind more often than not make them hard to predict. Diligent but fickle is kind of a crazy combo. Interesting, Prince Seti. Interesting. Um... What was I doing? Oh yeah, stress relief. It's time to kill somebody. Doo -doo -doo. Hey, Zahir, been a long time. Good night. Ah, just like that, we're back in good stress. <laughs> oh, that's OP, actually. <laughs> Maritini's can do whatever she wants, basically. As long as she has people to kill. Ooh, she has consumption. Ooh. Thanks for your indulgence, though. we we'll probably have Antioch for too long soon. 3rd of February. Oh, we got some time. Mark of Distinction. As the renown of my dynasty grows, familiarity with the glorious Terramin sigil spreads too. My family's emblem is now common knowledge, listing among, listed among the great royal families of the region and the highest nobility of the Sunborn. True, my family's emblem is now common knowledge is a sick thing, by the way. Terramin dynasty banner is now better as it should be. There it is. Uh, Exoticize a Grand Hall costs 528. Ooh. Ooh. I might do, like, an Indian look, to be honest. Because, you know, I think the Indians look absolutely awesome. We'll see. I might do Arabia. I might do India. Like, let me see if I visit one of their courts, what it looks like, for example. Ah, oh, that one's not really doing it for me, to be honest. Huh. Yeah, no, those don't look like what I had pictured in my head. Alright, never mind. That's closer to what I had pictured in my head, but it's still not quite what I was expecting. Man, their outfits are so fire, though. Look at that stuff. That's crazy. A lot of naked people go <laughs> in this region. What's going on with that? Mongolia? Okay. East Roman Empire, how's your court looking? Oh my god, you're kidding me! That's just cheating! They can't do that! <laughs> they can't do that! What do you mean? That capital looks amazing! Are you serious? No wonder... No wonder they're the second best in the world after us. Second grandest. Look at this place! Oh my god. You know what we've never done in our game? Is played a Christian playthrough. We've, we've never done that. I think when I finally do a Christian playthrough, we'll be playing like tall. You know what I mean? Like there won't be much war because... Other than Crusades, of course. Because the, the 
Catholics especially, loved their Crusades. But I think it would be cool to do a Christian playthrough since we haven't done one yet. But look at this! Oh my god! That is inc <laughs> That's incredible! I didn't even know we had courts like that in this game. That blows me away. And they exoticized their Grand Hall after the North. After Sweden and stuff. Oh, that looks sick. With the long tables on the sides. Hell yeah. England, how you looking? Okay, okay. I'm sorry, I got I got way sidetracked here with the royal courts. Man, some of these look sad. <laughs> and some of them look awesome. Houseland. Mali. Ooh, oh, ooh. That looks a little depressing. That's kind of cool that there's like a side there's side rooms there, but that, that looks pretty depressing, to be honest. Don't like that. Ooh, I do not like that. I do not like that. That looks pretty cool. And then there's us. We used to have this sick royal court. Now it looks like this. What happened? Damn it. I think it's because we moved to Alexandria. Dude, their court? Oh, I mean, I guess it makes sense. It's Constantinople, but that is so unfair. How come they get to look like that? That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, my God. Offensive war is down to negative nine. God, it's still at negative nine? That is insane, actually. Wait, really? Tennis Sherry just took off like that? Really? She's not even an adult yet. What happened to the votes? Yo, so many people just flipped. Her score went up to 380? She's known for her virtues. She's a brilliant woman. She's a brilliant woman. She's a devout pilgrim. I like her. Oh, she has pilgrim already from our trip. Oh, she joined us on one of our pilgrimages. That helped. Really? She's already the crowd favorite now. And then obviously plus 100 because they like us. But that's kind of nuts, actually. Would you look at that? Huh. This guy's voting for Ramon. Look at that. Oh yeah, another guy from India. No, Rustamid's over there. Never mind. I don't know. Ramon will probably be too old by the time it's time for a new pharaoh, to be honest. That's really his main drawback for being the next pharaoh. Zverko! No! He died in his sleep. I loved Zverko. Oh, man. Ahmad takes over at 36 for Child of the Flame. Man, I really like Zverko. Oh my god, Mark... <laughs> Marcos! Golly, he looks like he's ready to kill somebody! That's crazy! <laughs> Marcos, go! Oh my god! Dionysia, please. Yeah. Uh, what the hell? That's crazy. Can she, can she not do Servant of the Sun? This is the Royal Blade Master one? I guess not. Okay, then yeah, put Dionysia here. I have high hopes for her, to be honest. Wow. Well, we need a new marshal, and I bet I know who it's going to be. Really? Xanthos? I did not think that's who it was going to be. Onimor is also great at this. I thought it was going to be Ramon, but he's at 26. Damn, Xanthos, okay. He's not long for this world, so he won't be able to do it for a long time, but... Give Onimor and Ramon some time to build themselves up, and by the time Xanthos passes away, then maybe we have a even better marshal. That's kind of crazy. From your vassal Nesset Athalia of Sardinia. Why? I'd rather do this. Extort. Get that good cash flow out of them. They still only have 239 men. That's not happening. I'm just going to disband them. Manisa Pame was captured by Nomark Sinna during the Siege of Aniza. Okay. She's not Terramin, though, so I mean, like, you know, that is what. Whoa, 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 did she just die? No, okay. <laughs> I'm about to say. I, um, I might care a little if she's dead. Alright. There's that. We don't need to worry about our military anymore. 
50 days till that begins. Hopefully we'll we'll find a way to have enough money for this um grand tournament of ours. Okay, now there's no nearby plagues. We don't Okay, the capital stopped isolating itself on its own. Good, good, good. These are unstationed, but that's fine. We Oh, Helopolis, that's right. That's better than Manganels. What was I thinking? Why did I think this would be a good idea? Why? Why did I do that? Since we have Jerusalem at the moment, might as well make it take advantage of it. Good, he made the Duchy of Damascus. He, he, I needed him to do that before I gave him Antioch. There you go. There you go, Pi. Very good. Hatia Dali of El Ayo. You need that indulgence and more, dude. You are still in the negative. Meritides knows what it's like to be impatient, though. That is something she can resonate with. Really? A dangerous faction? Where? Who? Oh, in here? All these counties that we just took over? Ah, uh, true. Alright, then we'll just have to put them down soon. No problem. No problem. No problem. 66%. Her personality just doesn't want to do it. Huh. Maybe. Ooh, a new artifact has low durability? Spear Song. Ah, oh, that's fine. Alright, I think this is where we're gonna leave off for next time. Lore, like, Lore Master, like I said. Oh no! Sudor and Debbie died too? Drank herself to death. We're losing counselors. Chancellor? Damn, not a lot of good diplomacy here, is there? Pi of Damascus is a terraman that we just had take over. We can give him to him for a bit. He's not great at it, but he's not bad. But yeah. Yeah, Lord Master, let me know if you would rather be the ruler of Jerusalem, and then I could like give you the duchy or kingdom of uh, Jerusalem. I could give you like the kingdom of Jerusalem if you'd rather do that than po be in the running for Pharaoh. Let me know. But, um... Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. If you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. But either way, thank you so much for joining me on this journey in Crusader Kings 3 Tours and Tournaments. It would be kind of cool if Lore Master took over the Kingdom of Jerusalem, because then we could, like, follow his lineage. You know what I mean? Whenever we go to the Kingdom of Jerusalem, it's always going to be Lore Master's ancestors. I don't know. Same with, uh... Same with Delhi, of course. Ramon's ancestors will be in Delhi. He's ill right now, but he'll be fine. Oh, Ramon, you have a kid, by the way. Sanesu Nisius of Delhi. Spindly and handsome. Not the kid Ramon was hoping for, to be honest. Sorry. At least he looks good. Alright, thank you again so much. And I'll see all of you next time. Wait a minute. Your wife cheated on you. That's not possible from these two people. Uh-oh. It's guaranteed Herculean and he didn't get Herculean, he got the opposite. Uh-oh.